I think there's a huge momentum in the whole crypto and blockchain industry, especially in Switzerland. And uh, this is also shown by the fact that there are a lot of international, well-known and highly regarded companies in this field moving to Switzerland. And so the term Crypto Valley Zug or Crypto Valley Switzerland is definitely a very good description for this whole development. Over the past year, I think we've seen a lot of interest uh, coming in from banks, uh, governments, traditional industry, and many different groups. And it's clear that there's a lot of uh, increasing interest from, from the mainstream. And I think that the technology in general is, is diverging. There's uh, lots of different applications for it. There's different groups looking at different applications. and. If block, blockchains end, end up you know, being, being useful and being a major part of how the world works, then I think five to ten years from now, people will just see them as just another information technology, kind of like websites or email are right now. The potential of cryptocurrency is uh, almost unlimited. Uh, one of the major things to understand is that a cryptocurrency is both a payment system and a currency all rolled into one. And that means that the cryptocurrency has the potential to uh, bank the unbanked and uh, engage 80% of the world's population that are outside of the global economy into the global economy. Of course, cryptocurrencies can do uh, a lot more than that, but that is uh, one of the greatest potentials. The way that blockchain can simplify banking is by reducing operational risks and costs, as well as at the same time improving capital efficiencies.